that I may not sin against thee. We want the word to come forth. When you have the word inside of you, your giving gonna flow. Your giving gonna flow. Amen. And so the word of God is coming before us on today. Praise God. We want you to share the word of God, not like you at a conference. Amen. For somebody coming behind you. Amen. We don't want to get so lost up in the Holy Ghost that we forget. Amen. Praise my God. Because when the pastor starts coughing, it's time for you to start walking. Right. Amen. Amen. Or shouting on down the steps. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah for the word of God. Amen. And the word is going to come from our ministers on the second Sunday. This is what we do. Praise God. We want to make sure you give all your money together in that pocketbook so that when the word has planted in your heart, you feel liberal about your giving on today. Praise God. Today is State Bishop's Day. Amen. We want you to give heartily as unto the Lord. But before that happens, I don't see my young minister that's supposed to start out. Amen. Uh, is he there? Is he there? There he is. Praise the Lord. Amen. I need a little bit more of this for this ministerial staff because I'm having a soft voice. But this young man is going to start the ball rolling and I don't want to have to sing too long before the next one pops up. You should be lined on up, ready to share what God has given to you. Amen. Amen. Because you should have had your stuff all together before here. So you shouldn't be sitting down studying. Amen? Amen. I'm just saying. Amen? I'm just saying. Praise God. So give me to the word of God. And let us support the preachers. Amen? Amen. Preaching is not a contest. Praise God. But it is a protest against the forces of evil. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Do we have any petitioners in the house? Any protesters against the devil? Sugar gotta come down. Hallelujah. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I thank God for this word this morning because I was going to do some things. It said, why not me? I realized. God was taking me through a transformation. He was breaking me, shaking me, molding me, and making me. Yeah. Just to transform me into a new creature. Yeah. How many of you are new creatures in Christ? Yeah. Amen. I realized that I don't have to be of the world to live in the world. Yeah. I can walk in God's light and hold my head up high and speak his word with no shame, no hesitation. Uh, in a world where I can be anything I want to be, right. I choose to be one of the sons that he's calling for in these last and evil days. Yeah. Uh, all right now. I don't know about you, but I want to be caught up to meet him in the air. Oh, yeah. If I could leave you with one thought on today, young people, it would be, the transformation of the mind. Come on. Okay. All right. Change your paradigm. Change the way you think. Yeah. Change the way you talk. Change the way you walk. Yeah. It is not like Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Young people, get up and use your voice, use your prayers, and use your words as your weapon. As we step into the streets and schools, we don't know what's going to happen. But we know that we are covered. We know that we are protected. Yeah, yeah. We must arm ourselves with the word of God. Yes. Cover ourselves with prayer. Yes. Yes. Don't wait for your parents to do it. Yes. Mommy and daddy. Yes. Don't wait for mommy and daddy. Yes. You must speak over yourself. Yes. And when you're feeling down, encourage yourself in Christ Jesus. Yes, that's right. All right. For he is the almighty protector. Yes, he is. The lifter of our hands. Yes, he is. Tell, tell yourself, no weapon formed against me shall not prosper. Yes. I am more than a conqueror. Yes. Don't be afraid to let God use you. Yes. 
And let him do what he must, young people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May God bless this word and may God smile upon you. Amen. As you can make it if you try. Yes. Philippians 4 and 13 says, yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. I know that on my own I can't make it, but through Christ I certainly can take it. And there's no weapon formed against me that's going to prosper. Yes. I can make it if I try. And as long as God Jesus. Yes. The 
thought that I would like to leave with you today is know who you are in Christ Jesus. Knowing this, that our God, our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth he should not serve sin. Know that the enemy is out to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Since we have to know who we are in Christ, hallelujah, at times you will experience in this life some who will try to tell you that you are anything other than what God says that you are. But not only are you uh, uh, Christ beloved, but you are the body of Christ. Our bodies, the word of God tells us to present it as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Christ, which is our reasonable service. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody, nobody out here in this world tell you that you are not of God. Somebody trying to tell me who I was. Somebody trying to tell me, oh, you, oh, you do the same thing everybody else do. And I said, really? Well, what is everything else? I said, because I live in God and God lives in me. And what does he do? He walked this world. He spoke the word of God. And I'm telling you, I am not of this world. I belong to Jesus Christ who strengthens me. He lives in me. And I walk and I talk Jesus. You ain't never seen me or heard me do anything else but walk and talk Jesus. Believe what you want to believe. I'm not going to argue with you, young man. I said, but I know who I am, and I am not of this world. He said, oh, you from this world. I said, no, I am not of this world. I am of heaven. I belong to heaven. I got a tag on my back saying heaven, and I'm heaven bound. You are what you say you are. You are who Christ says you are. Know your identity. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Jesus. Psalms 25, the fourth and the fifth and the first verse. Come on. Lord, tell me your ways. Show me how to live. Yes, Guide me in your truth and teach me, my God, my Savior. I trust you all day long. First one, Lord, I give myself to you. Yes. And if I leave for thought, it's I give myself away. Yes. And then when we say we give ourselves away, I'm talking to all of us. When we let the Holy Spirit dwell in us, yes. when we get into a point of situation, we can't see a way out. He said, Lord, I give myself away. You let the Holy Spirit deal with the negative things in your life. When you find yourself not coming to church, say, Lord, I give myself to you. When you get in a situation, when you get in an argument, you say, Lord, I give myself to you. Let the Holy Spirit go in and root it out. Let the Holy Spirit strengthen you. Let the Holy Spirit let you rise above all your negativity. I give myself you to have. Yeah. But first of all, you must be holy. 
of Revelation 5.20. Behold, I stand at the door yes. and knock. Yes. If yes. any man hear me, and if any man yes. hear my voice and open the door, I will yes. come into him and sit with him. Yes. And wait a minute, I'll read it again. Yes. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yes. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come and to him and will sit with him and he with me. All right. I say today, open the door right. and let the Lord in. Yes. The Lord got everything you need. Yes. He can heal your body. Right. He can heal you in the courtroom. Yes. And he's the doctor in yes. the hospital. Yes. He's the bill payer. Yes. When you need your yes. bill yes. pay, okay. God is a good guy. Yes. Not on the door.
I'm going to Isaiah, the 40th chapter, and verse 31, it says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Something I want to leave with you is don't make my eagle come out. Uh, well, you know when I am using scripture, I, I was under impression that the eagle will come and that I will mount on the eagle. But when I really looked at the scripture, I saw that the evil is within me. I said the evil is within me. And many times the devil will try to come in our lives and he'll try to drain us. He'll try to drain us through the problems that we have. He'll try to drain us through family things that's going on. He'll try to drain us through the things that is going on in the church. Why? Because he wants to take your strength. But I tell you, if you hold on and you do not think that those that wait on the Lord, I wonder how many people can wait on the Lord. If you wait on the Lord, he said that he will renew your strength. That means that my strength will be made like it once was. Not only will he renew my strength, but I'll be able to mount up. My eagle come out. And if I had to, um, my scripture reading would be Ephesians 3 and 20. And it would say, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. Just going to read it again. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power at work within him. I don't know if uh, a lot of you remember, but back in, I think it was the 80s, Public Enemy used to sing a song, amen? And the song used to say, I got the power.
things are rather than just discover who it is that he called us to be. Amen. I thank God for Sister Selena because she spoke a word into my spirit last week when um and she told me, know who you are. Know who you are, not just who you are to you, but who you are in Christ. Amen. And that word stood with me throughout the whole week. Amen. So if I have to encourage you, I will encourage you to have three D power and know that just as public enemy said, we know who the public is. This is the devil, amen? So we have to disclose the public enemy who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. I got the power. Thank you. Thank you. It's my praise team with the mic. Lord. 